The S&P 500 market is printing live. The stock market is going to open in two minutes. And right now what I can see, the structure is bearish. I can see you have a downtrend working lower. We're creating series of lower highs, lower lows, which is important to me as a price action trader. So I know what is the bias. Right now, the most recent bias is bearish. You can see there is no bullish bias just yet. So right now I'm looking for channel, expecting for price session to continue working lower. Even if you break the channel, according to channel out rules, I expect for price session to create the new extreme. We have a break in new extreme according to trend line rules, but the downtrend was quite significant that I'm not really looking for reversal pattern just yet. So I'm not looking for failed second entry short just yet because when the trend is strong, you can have a couple more pushes lower to additional new extremes. So right now I'm just observing a break new extreme and I'm leaning still a bit more bearish expecting one little push lower. So for this reason, I'm not really looking for failed second entry short because this trend down was just so substantial. All right, traders, I'm resuming the video as we have a large triple top, but this bar is forming. You can see it is getting to be four points big. Yeah, so I cannot take this. Unfortunately, this is way too big of a bar. So what I was looking for, one top, double top, triple top, large tool get pullback. We're breaking the spike in the channel. So what does this mean? We expect new low for the downtrend going to channel our rule. Also, we close below EMA. I was ready to pounce on this beautiful setup, but I can't really risk it. It's way too big. So I can only sit here and watch. You can see it close very close to these lows, although we will most likely continue pushing lower. But I was hoping the bar would close somewhere near here. But you can see I'm just following price action without any indicators. Spike, channel, we keep getting rejected by the EMA. Minimal, bullish pullbacks, telling me this is a very, very strong downtrend. So I adapted to another spike in a channel. This was a great step to take had it been a little bit smaller. The downtrend was substantial, so I'm still leaning more bearish. If we're going to break below EMA, this is going to be the sign that the sellers are back into the market. I can see that the bullish channel doesn't fully have technical new extreme just yet. Had this channel created the new extreme, I would have definitely been thinking about selling the triple test, one top, double top, triple top. But you can see this is the latest highest high and we still may create the technical new high. So right now, even though I'm more bearish because it was a strong downtrend and this is such a broad one leg pullback, second leg i'm not really selling just yet because i just hold the trend line rule this channel may get a new extreme ema keeps holding every single time and you can see exactly the price session is heading for a new extreme okay cheers i'm assuming the video is i'm going to take a felt breakout because we created a break new extreme and i missed the setup because we already reached the scalp so i need to cancel the order but this was perfect scenario you can see how all the bulls they are piling in directly into highs of the string range there was that little fell breakout higher and you can see it trapped all the buyers buying into top of the train range while this channel is about to get new high and also it trapped all the early sellers just like we talked about that they're selling a little bit too early this is a perfect setup it broke higher took all of these sell stops out and then trap all the sellers. You can see such a massive bearish bar indicating the trap all the traders got trapped and for this reason I probably should have used stop because a lot of stops are going to be taken out but I decided to play it safe you can see I just didn't get filled. I realized that my microphone stopped working, so I'm gonna go back and explain what I was looking for. Now we had consolidation, which we traded down into, and most breakouts will fail. So we wanna fade the top, and once the breakout is heading to the downside, we cannot just sell the breakout because most will fail, at least temporarily. We wanna wait for the breakout pullback, and this is textbook break lower pullback testing the key level. And this was a great lower high confirmation setup of the breakout pullback. This is the first setup. Then we establish this wider channel where it was a great second entry short. I was looking for a lower high, same setup as here, breakout pullback out of this stacked area. But you can see we have matching highs, double top, no tick higher. 
so technically no lower high on my chart then we had small overshoot i took this lower high mainly because this bar looked so bullish and at the last second it reversed all the way down so this trapped me into taking the lower high because it confirms a country short but when you've been working lower the entire day you have to expect stronger correction this is where you have to take these setups when the trend is developing this is the point where the trend is over because we have overshoot and we've been working lower the entire day so far so this is exactly where the correction is going to be so unfortunately i got trapped on the nice momentum with a small stop no problem and right now i still expect new for the downtrend we have the longer correction break attempt to create new high i'm not really buying though because i expect new low for this main downtrend because the structure is still bearish so i have a break attempt to create new high i would like to see some felt second entry long below ema to get the new extreme all right traders i'm resuming the video as i'm going to take a second entry short fell breakout the exact same type of setup we had a few hours earlier and we got from so i'm gonna place my stop loss one tick above the single bar i'm gonna go for a tick target profit the one contract for runner right now i can see that this bullish channel has a clear break move to new extreme and bullish uptrend played out also we had consolidation and this is a fell breakout at the top of the consolidation most breakouts will fail and the main downtrend needs to get new extreme so i'm fading the congestion with the direction of the main trend i'm basically doing the same thing as i was doing right here second entry short i was trying to fade the top because most breakouts will fail so right now i'm doing the exact same type of thing great small bar tiny risk scalping six contracts and even one contract as a runner there was no fault second entry long below ema for us to capitalize on getting the new extreme the uptrend truly needed the new high but now that the new high was created bullish trend is over and this is a fell breakout at the top of the train range so i'm looking for a quick little scalp possibly good runner because the downtrend is to get new extreme we're bouncing on my exit order but we need the one more tick to break through come on We made the scalp our runner unfortunately got hit but it's okay it was good enough for a scalp i'm still not expecting for prices to go higher even though anything is possible if you have overshoot this is not what you want to see when you're thinking bearish but this downshot was so strong and it needs to get new low they like to trap the bulls if there's going to be reversal then i'm just going to simply adapt but as of right now i still want to see the push below ema and a fell second entry long to get the new extreme perfect price action rules the downtrend created the new extreme now this is what you're hoping for when you're selling at the top of the consolidation at the top of the correction phase now it may feel it is counterintuitive it may feel like you're selling too high and the market may go higher but you have to trust the price action rules main bias is bearish and pretty much the same thing as you did right here it feels like you're selling way too far up but that's the point that's how it goes when you're fading the breakout out of the train range with the direction of the downtrend so you can see when you fade a breakout this very high a lot of times there's a big chance you're going to catch some significant runner this time there were a little pullback which is a shame because look at the runner we could have made so this is what you're looking for when you're fading the breakout like this and this is why it is worth it to be taking a risk on these because the risk to reward ratio on a setup like this can be tremendous because setups like these what a lot of times produce a significant runner the downtrend created a break in a new extreme and the market entered a brand new market cycle consolidation a train range we had a decent felt second entry long below the ema contextually because the signal bar was inside bar didn't form that well but when the trend down is strong you always lean towards downtrend continuation you're not really thinking about buying there was a last second entry short also a little felt breakout at the top of the train range which is where we want to sell up chain played out but the single bar once again was inside bar so this is mainly a contextual setup but these are two decent setups would have been better had the single bar form a little bit better overall very predictable price action you can see this is how price action works your goal is to follow the main bias break you expect new extreme you also have to respect the short term corrections after there's a break in new high of the bullish correction all buyers are right now done the target is met and sellers will step into the market because that's the main bias so fairly predictable price action this is the big picture overall i decided to make the video a little bit shorter because my microphone stopped working and i was basically explaining things to myself so for this reason 
this area was a little bit quiet. I hope you had a good training day. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna talk to you next time. Good luck with your trading.